I am Abby. I am Top Knot Stitcher. I'm super excited to be here with you today. We are in a new corner of the Top Knot Stitcher studio space. I thought that would be kind of fun. Um, I'm loving this colorful backdrop that I gave myself. It covers up my printer and Cricut and like other random supplies and cords and things that was just a little too chaotic. And now it's just a fun colorful accent for my top knot. I hope that's my thumbnail. Um, welcome, I'm so glad you're here. If you are returning, thanks for coming back. If you're new, thanks for checking me out. If you clicked on me and you have no idea who I am, I'm Abby, I'm Top Knot Stitcher. I have an online cross stitch store where I sell cross stitch supplies and uh, my own designs and the fabulous designs of other talented people. I sell needle minders and scissors and fabric and threads and kind of other whatever things I like because that's the power of having my own shop. I can carry what I want and it's the best. Um, I have a few really exciting new things to share that are in the shop. I'm gonna share those towards the end. Um, but today we'll also just have some normal updates. I've got a couple finishes, one of which is a new top knot pattern. I have a couple whips to share. One of them is a new start. You haven't seen it before. It was just released this week. Um, I have giveaway winners and I have a new giveaway. I have updates about the online needlework expo coming up in a few weeks. Um, I have my own personal haul to share and I'm sure we'll think of some other things along the way. So it's going to be great. I think this might be another kind of quick-ish update. So we'll see if that's true. I, in the past, have only ever really been able to film like 50 plus minute episodes um and then last week or last month it was only 30 minutes and I feel like we might be in that sweet spot again this week so we'll find out because you all know I can just talk and talk and talk and talk but let's get into some stitchy talk before we do that um I want to say thank you so much for all of your kind comments and um I was going to say congratulations. That's not the word I'm looking for. I guess congratulations a little bit. Just like the kindness with which my newest pattern was received. I'm going to show you what it is. Because uh, I can't wait any longer. So, um, bah! I released this last week. It is a little Valentine stitch. I love him so much. I'm super proud of him. I just realized he has kind of a loose stitch. I need to get a snag nab it and fix that. But that's fine. Um, you can get this as a PDF download on my shop, topnutstitcher.com. It will be linked below. I love it so much. Oh my goodness. Be my boo. <laughs> he's so cute. He's the spoopiest little ghost. And he's got his little valentine full of bats and hearts. I just love it. He just popped into my brain and I thought... You need to be in the world, a little ghosty. Um, he's delightful. He's a super quick, fun stitch. I'm kind of tempted to stitch him a few times and send him to people. I don't have time for that, but in my heart, just know I might be like wishing I could send you a stitched Valentine. Um, I just, he's the cutest. I had grand visions of FFOing him into a little pillow. I even picked out trim. This is Lady Dot Creates Chianti Mini Pom Pom Trim. Oops, <laughs> he fell. Um, he's a perfect like he's such a cute little guy. He would he works real well for you know your random scraps of things. Um, this is a scrap piece of um, mermaid linen from the Rainbow Collection of. Primitive hair. I think in my pattern I listed it as rainbow, so that's wrong, but um, I think it was like a limited edition thing, so it doesn't matter. But I mean, it's, uh, it really, it could look good on anything. Rocio, oh, Cocohama Stitchery, Rocio, she stitched hers on like a dark gray, and it was so cute. She is such a genius. She left his little eyes and his eyebrows and his mouth she just left them blank so that the dark fabric showed through it was amazing oh i love him he's only four colors um you could do it in less if you wanted 
to if uh, you can be creative and you can do whatever you want. You can do it in more. I've seen some really beautiful versions of him. I stitched mine in all in dinky dyes silks. Um, I have sold out of all of the colors and I don't have my own here to show you, but they're gorgeous. Um, I used a mint for the little ghosty, so he's got a nice like, I don't know, just like greenish ghosty-ish glowy luminescent quality to him that I love. Um, one of these is bushfire. I think it's the pink and then this is fireside and then my words and his facial features are done in a really pretty variegated gray called distant thunder and I love that it kind of not quite blends into the fabric but like they're very uh complimentary I don't know you know me I don't know the words that I want I'm too distracted by how cute he is I love him so so much be my boo he's really quick you can stitch him up in like a night or two um he's cute and spoopy and I love him and you can get your very own on my website and I'll stop talking about him now I wish I don't have a shelf I can put him up on could put it in here, but he might. Yeah. Okay. Okay. More professional. Yeah. Sure. That'll work. Um, so what I was trying to say before I went into that ramble was thank you so much for those of you who responded so enthusiastically and have stitched him and it just makes me so happy. Um, and I'm so delighted to have been able to share him with the world. Do you want to see my other finish? Because um, I spent some of December feeling a little bit like, I don't know what I want to stitch. No, January. I spent some of January being like, I don't know what I want to stitch. And then I finished something and then I just stitched and stitched and stitched. So I finished Together Against Racism. <gasps> I love it so much. I love it so much. I wanted to finish this for Inauguration Day. I think I did. I kind of can't remember, honestly. It's all a blur. All of January is a blur. Um, but this is a Wild Violet cross stitch pattern. I will link her website below. There is a companion slash alternate design. They kind of go together. They're both the same style slightly different color compositions, maybe, I don't remember. Um, but there's another one that says Black Lives Matter. Uh, I chose this one. I am going to frame it and then put it in my office so that it is in the background of all of my Zoom meetings. I love it tremendously. I started this one, she released it, I believe in June or July, and I started it pretty quickly after. Um, and then it became my like Zoom project because there are a lot of sections that like the flowers, some of them were kind of easy to do on a call um, or the text where I would just be filling things in made for a good Zoom project, but then it got to a point where I never wanted to stitch on Zoom. So it just sat around forever and it's finally done and I love it so much. And then I was like, oh boy, I want to stitch all the things. I'll design and stitch a little ghosty and then I'll des design and stitch something I can't show you yet. And then I'll stitch on some other things, which I'll show you now. So um, yes, I credit this piece to just giving me a little bit of a nudge into stitching um, again, which is always nice. Cause sometimes when I finish, I just like go into an existential crisis where I don't really feel like doing any stitching. Cause I'm like, I finished everything. That's not true. I have so much stitching. Am I making any sense? I hope so. Point is, I love this piece. Um, I don't think I can replicate that as easily this time. Oh, you know what? I have like 50,000 magnets here. That was easy. What is she thinking? Who even knows? Okay, so those are my two finishes. Maybe next time we talk, they'll be FFO'd. Maybe not because I'm sitting right next to 
my box of F my box of finishes, non FFO'd finishes. Um, I did a video many many months ago where I went through this box. So if you're curious what's in here, it's pretty much unchanged since then because I definitely have an FFO'd stuff. I've only added to it. Um, did we talk about my shirt yet? I don't think that we did. Did you notice that there are squirrels on this shirt? I've made it a goal to wear all of my animal printed shirts for you all because I have quite a collection of them and I don't go to work in an office anymore so I don't get dressed up in like office-y blouses because uh, I mostly just wear workout clothes all day and that's great. Um, so I wanted to, you know, bust them out for you all. This one is delightful. It's little squirrels with little acorns. I don't know how much you can see, but they're adorable. And like who, it's from like Ann Taylor or something. What is she doing making a squirrel shirt? I don't know. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's not crazy. We're not supposed to say that anymore. It's very unexpected. Okay. This is a new start. I absolutely love it. I, as you know, will stitch basically anything that Ryan of Wild Violet Cross Stitch designs. And this was no exception. I got to see it as she was working on it and I was like, oh my goodness, I need to stitch it. And oh my goodness, I think I know exactly what fabric I want to put it on. And it is this, oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so this fabric is, that's showing up pretty true. Um, this is a fat quarter of Fiberlicious, which I've never stitched on their fabric before, but I love it. Um, the name of this linen, it's a 32 count linen. The name is Where Shadows Used to Fall. And I just think that's so, it's so pretty and splotchy and gloomy, but beautiful because it's like purple and pink, but then the gray, I don't know. And so this piece, it's a little perfume bottle and it says love potion number nine. Ooh, and it's adorable and I love it so much. And I've been having a lot of fun stitching it. Um, <laughs> I've been stitching it every once in a while. My boyfriend will be like, wait, how does this work? And he'll like watch me stitch. And it's like his brain just can't quite compute what's happening. And he put in a couple stitches and he was like, it just was like blowing his mind. It was amazing. Um, and so I just, I like that I worked on this quite a bit while he and I were um, watching uh, TV. And then he would every once in a while just be like, how, what, how, you're a wizard. This is crazy. Um, and it's just very fun. Uh, so I'm really loving this piece. I highly recommend that you go get yourself a little love potion. I've never really been one to do Valentine's Day stitching before. Um, but I, there's a lot of really adorable stuff happening like this. Um, and then Hemlock and Rye, which is, uh, from Julie, Kansas City Girl in the Colorado World. She just put out three little Hamilton Valentine stitches and they're so adorable and I need to go buy them and stitch them immediately, immediately. It's so good. Um, I kind of got a little stuck with this because the, there's like gold up here and up here and then like gold outline and writing but of course the main color that's used is a color I can't find. This is like six DMC colors and I can't find one of them. So I would like to finish this by Valentine's Day, but I might have to figure out that color situation. But that's a problem for later. I love this so much. This needle minder is from Top Nut Stitcher Shop. That's me. Um, and like I mentioned, I'm using all the called for DMCs Maybe not when I get to that color, I cannot find. And also I have so much more of this fabric, so I need to find another project for it because it's beautiful and I love it and I have a lot of it. Like I could stitch this like six times, but that would be boring, obviously. Um, I've also been using my little Bendy Flip Floss Buddy. Is this a floss buddy? I think, I don't know. 
Um, but I got it from Bendy Stitchy for one of her live sales. Um, it's got 12 pockets on this side with the felt so things stay put. And then it has a pocket on this side. It's Halloween themed because it just is. It was cute. It had pumpkins. It was orange. That's all I needed. Um, and I love it for this project. Not right now because I pulled them out because I was trying to figure out what I'm going to do about this missing color. But I love it for this project because it has six colors and it has 12 pockets. And so I have one pocket for the bobbin and then I use one pocket for the, like, you know, I pull off a strand and then I take out the one strand and then I just tuck my little extra right there and it stays put until I need it again. It's brilliant. Um, I need like 25 more of these, please and thank you. Um... I got mine from Bendy's live sale, but you can get them directly from, is it floss? I don't know if it's, <sighs> I can like see the shop, but I can't see the name of the shop, you know, but they're in the UK and so shipping's really expensive. So, um, so far I've only shopped through Bendy, but now I know how much I love them. So that might, that might need to happen. I don't know. And this is just in a, a boring vinyl bag because it's what I had handy but that's fine it's very functional it's okay um let's see what's next okay this one I finally have progress to show I've showed it a couple times with like nothing there um but I started this piece um back in December this is one of the um be Well and Stitch freebie designs that um, people were putting out way back when the quarantine times first started. <gasps> and this one is from The Blue Flower. This is called Let Joy Be Unconfined. It is stitched in the most luscious palette of Dinky Dyes silks. I have fallen in love with Dinky Dyes. I love these colors. I love this design. It's really fun. It's another one where my boyfriend was just like, how does this work? How does it change? How does it know to change the colors? And I was like, the thread just, it just does magical things. <laughs> um, yeah. And I'm, I just, I just love this piece. So, um, I'm stitching it on a 36 count picture. This plus, I think this is sand. That's wrong. The label is covered up. Oh, it's right here. Um, yes, 36 count sand and it's beautiful and yeah, that's all I have to say. This needle minder, you can make your own with a needle minder kit from my shop if you want. I think I might sell those too. I forget. I also found, I forgot I have these little tiny scissors that I, I got in a kit it was like a kit to make a little scissor fob or a little scissor pouch or something um but I was like the kit is ugly the scissors are so cute they're so tiny and then I have on here a little chain mail scissor fob from Carrie's Creations is that right she's in Australia I think that's right oh it's very cool How does this even happen? I don't know. I don't know how she does it, but it's very, very cool. Okay, I'll stop staring at things that you can't really even see. Um, so that's mostly what I've stitched other than the secret thing I can't show you yet. Um, but I did also pull out one other project that I'm trying to find the threads or remember what threads I converted it to because I just don't. Um, but this is Winter Wonderland Blackbird Designs. Um, I think this is out of print and not one that they've re create like re redone yet. Um, but I saw Becca Sambri stitches and someone else was pulling it out and gonna start it. And I was like, I have that pattern. I started it for Mania. I want to do it. I just think it's so fun and pretty. And I don't know because usually like these samplers and the giant houses are just not really my jam but there's something about this one and I started it on picture this plus barnwood it's gonna look oops so cool
I got very far. Um, so I'm trying to kind of get myself organized <laughs> with this bag of colors that maybe were intentional and some of them were maybe just they were nearby and I thought that could work. I don't know. Um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see if I get anywhere soon. I feel like winter stitching is coming to an end pretty soon, so... I don't know how that's gonna work, um, especially around here. I'm in California, it's not very wintry, so we'll see. But it's been fun. Do you wanna talk haul now? What do we think? I have haul, I have giveaway, and I have shop updates. Let's do the giveaway, because this is exciting. Um, last week, I or last video, I shared some of the new dinky dyes colors that I had in the shop and invited people to comment if they wanted to try some dinky dyes and what colors they were excited about and I ended up picking five winners because I'm pretty confident I can get away with mailing a skein of floss in an envelope with a stamp. If this fails, then I'm going to feel silly and spend a lot of money on shipping. But I think one skein of floss is going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Um, so I have five names that I pulled and I went ahead and just pulled the flosses that they chose in their comment. You didn't have to leave a floss, a specific floss color in your comment, but I opted to, if you listed one, that was going to be what I sent you. It was one of the things that you listed. And if anybody didn't list one, I would just send a random color. Um, but I think everyone who won at least listed a category of color. So first up is Brittany Fruit. She picked Ghost Gum. Let me get something white to hold this up against. How do I not have any like plain white paper? I'm surrounded by stuff. Can I use this? Kind of. No. This is my other floss buddy thing. Oh, Abby, 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 what is your deal? Can I use recycling? It wouldn't be a top knot video if I didn't do this. Aimlessly looking around for something appropriately white. I'm sorry, this is boring you. I can tell, I can see it in your eyes. Okay, we're gonna use the back of this pattern. If you're curious, it's Bittersweet and Broomsticks by With a Needle and Thread. Which also means it's totally in the wrong box. But that's a problem for me for later. Okay, this is Ghost Gum. I feel like that's really not helping you all. It's a beautiful smoky gray a little bit of a greenish blue situation. It's fun. So that's going to Brittany. Um, Rainy Day Stitcher, who I just saw, also has a floss tube channel. So go check her out. I haven't watched her yet, but she's in my queue to watch maybe later today, if not tomorrow morning. Um, and she uh, really liked the color Lucy's Mum, which I agree. Like that is pretty. It's really nice. Um, next up, Becca Sambury Stitches, who is, I think, stitching the that Blackbird piece. And also, I was on her channel a couple weeks ago. So if you haven't watched my interview, please go check it out. It's really fun. Um, she mentioned the color Tiger Snake, which I think is also, I think I'm just going to do that. Forget this chart. Sorry, Brenda. Um, it's a really fun, like, gold to tan variegation. Ooh, that's so fun. The thing is, I have not yet taken like really good pictures for the website of these colors. So the pictures that I have are not the best. They're hard to see the true beauty of the colors. So this is exciting to get to highlight them one at a time. Um, next up, Terry, and I didn't put your last name here, but you're going to know what, which, if it's you, if it's the right Terry, because this Terry wrote a poem and I didn't write down the whole thing, but it was something along the lines of, um, 
I think it's really stinky that I have never tried dinky. <laughs> It was much better than that, but it was so cute. And I was like, man, you should automatically win just for this poem, but that wouldn't be very fair. And then I drew her name, so that was exciting. Um, and she said she would like to try any bluish green. And so Terry, I picked out this blue spruce for you. And I just think that's gorgeous. And then last but certainly not least is Sandra Moore. And she liked Cat's Cat, which I agree is a super fun, it's like, Oh, it just, it looks like a delicious, I was gonna say a bowl of oatmeal. That really never <laughs> looks delicious. I don't know what it looks like, but it, it looks really, it just looks really cool. It would make a really good cat or a tree or anything. I don't know. So um, if I uh, drew your name, I'll comment on your comment and get your address. A couple of you, I think I already have your address. Um, but if not, I will. I will get it from you and get those in the mail to you. And thank you so much for watching and commenting and participating. And if you didn't win, go check out some dinky dyes over on my shop. Um, I love them and I will be continuing to stitch with them whenever I can. Within reason. Yeah. Um, next up, I have another giveaway to share because um, I wanted to tell you all the exciting news that you may have heard that the Nashville Needlework Market, which is a wholesale market every year, and it's where a lot of new, like it's like a, a big event in the cross-stitch world because a lot of designers release new patterns. Shops get to go in person to like see things and you know, it's like a, it's a, it's a big event for the industry. Um, and especially to be able to like see the models in person and meet the people who created these beautiful designs and see threads and fabrics in person and all the other stitchy goodness. It's awesome. Um, so the market that is normally held in March was postponed till May. They very wisely, and I'm very grateful that they did this so that people did not have to make any risky decisions. Um, they canceled this year's market um, due to the pandemic. So not all is lost because uh, Janice, Janice, Janet, I think it's Janice of the Noteworthy Needle has put together a virtual expo. So this is a virtual needlework market. It's for, it's like a wholesale only market for, for shops, um, but we'll have a chance to do a version of what we would have done at the Nashville market to interact with designers and um, get to see all the new goodies and to get to you know support our industry, bring excellent, awesome stitchiness to you all, and just it's so exciting to see how cross stitch has grown and evolved so much over the past few years since I've been involved as a uh, you know like official business e person. I don't know. I don't feel that official. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going to attend the expo and it's going to be really exciting. I have um, already put up a few designs that have been released as like pre-orders for the Blue Flower. Um, designers are releasing sneak peeks. The Instagram account for Needlework Expo is doing some really cool um, like highlights of designers and everything and so go check it out and uh, keep your eyes on Top Knot Stitcher for um, any shopping needs you may have. Um, you might be wondering, oh man, but if I place a pre-order and then I place another one, and then I, what if I want something else? I got you covered. If you place an order with me for any expo items, I will hook you up with a shipping code where you can combine everything and you'll pay a, just a $3 shipping. Excuse me, I always offer $3 flat rate shipping for the US, $12 for Canada because shipping from US to Canada is stupid expensive. Um, but for the expo, you will be able to combine your shipping. So don't even worry if you're like, oh no, I forgot something, or oh no, I really love that too, etc. Because we got you. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited about it. Um, Nashville market last year was a really big uh, step for the Top Knot Stitcher shop to go from um, just being a little needle minder shop to a full on 
online needlework uh, shop, a, a, an LNS for the digital age, if you will. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to get to participate. Um, I also will be putting out a new release um, in collaboration with the expo, kind of, um, but I won't be exhibiting, obviously. I, um, not obviously, I don't know. I won't be exhibiting, I'll just be there at the shop, whatever. The point of this is I was going through um, memories of last year at Nashville and I wanted to do a giveaway for um, one of my favorite releases from last year. And that is, oh, the Friendship Sampler. This is um, a collaboration between Bendy Stitchy and the Blue Flower. Um, and they did this really fun, um, let me just read it, good ships and wood ships, ships that sail the sea. The best ships are friendships, may they always be. And you can do it um, all in one sampler like that, or you can finish it in drums. And they were really, really cute, kind of giant, but really cute drums. Um, oh. They're beautiful. And I was just so proud of Michelle and it was so fun to meet Janine and it's just a fun design and it was fun to see in person. And so um, this was a pretty popular one. So I imagine a lot of you already have this, but if you don't and you need one, comment below with the word friendship and you could win your very own copy. So just use the word friendship. Please don't mention the word giveaway. Please be over 18 or have your parents permission to enter because I will need your address. I will ship anywhere in the world. Um, this is not sponsored by anyone other than, um, me, Todd My Stitcher, of Todd My Stitcher Shop, but not, uh, Michelle or Janine, who I'm getting old, sitting on the floor too long. Um, so yes, that is your opportunity to win. Um, let's talk a little bit more about things that are new in the shop because leading up to the expo, I, this isn't something that's new in the shop, but leading up to the expo, I need to clear out a little space. So I will be offering some designer deals of the week. Um, they'll be announced over on my Instagram, so keep your eyes peeled. But the one that's up right now and is good through Thursday, February 11th, um, this is an offer for a specific designer, Stitching with the Housewives. You can get any combination of their charts, buy two, get one free. <gasps> Ooh, so like, do you need some cute autumn trucks like November with turkeys or October with Halloween pumpkins or September with little cute chicken pumpkins and a scarecrow? Guess what? Buy two of them, you get one for free. No coupon required, you just add them to your cart. They're adorable, they're super fun. Um, they have a bunch of little uh, other, like not just the, the truck designs, like they're too far away, um, but they have a bunch of other cute little cats and chickens and cute, cute things. So um, get them before they're gone. Um, so that's through, yeah, through Thursday, there'll be a different deal the next week. Um, and then one more deal in February. Uh, maybe even two more deals. I don't know, but we gotta like make some room for the new the new stuff. So there'll be some short but sweet sales in your future. New to the Top Knot Stitcher Shop. You may have seen these in some Instagram posts because Jam has been sending them out to some of his friends who have placed larger orders with the Top Knot Shop. And now they're available for you as well. These are oh, a little jam portrait. It says Top Knot Stitcher Shop is my jam. So for all you jam fans out there, um, this is a custom design that I worked with Lauren McKinney of Cat Lady Stitcher and Lauren McKinney Designs. She has a floss tube channel. She's not been super active for a while, but that's okay because uh, she's also doing some really cool illustrations and custom stickers and things over on her Etsy shop. So I will link her below. She's awesome. And this jam is awesome. And I love it so much. And you can get your own on the shop now. And they all come with a kiss from jam. Kind of. 
no germs though. Um, I also have some new needle minders going up soon. So in the spirit of, I was about to say the spirit of Thanksgiving. So no, but in the spirit of Valentine's Day, we have some new minders. This one is for you Halloween Valentine crossover fans, a little anatomical heart. There's also the mini version. Oh, so tiny. Um, they're pretty different in size. That's astonishing, but those are fun. Um, there's this cute little like lockety compassy Ouija. I don't know, but it's cute. Um, and then there's some of these vintage, some of these I only have like one or two of. This is like a little vintage uh, Valentine design. It says, I need a little Valentine. And then she's stitching, why not? And then the bottom it says, so I've chosen you. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Ah, yeah, that was fun. Um, and there's a few other designs, some of which are valentines -y and some of which are not. They're just doing their own thing. Like, um, oh, like here's a, a heart squid situation. Yeah. Um, here's like a little, it's like a little genie bottle, but it just screamed Valentine's to me. Um, there's also this little brooch, Valentine's. There's also this little eyeball, creepy Valentine's. There's probably more. There's definitely more. Um, so check that out, topnestitude.com for all of your needle minder needs. But don't wait, don't go anywhere. There's also something else that I'm super excited to finally have in my hands. This is um, a new brand to the Top Knot Stitcher shop um, and I love them. I have lusted after them for quite some time and I'm super excited to share them, share a couple with you all. The first is a stitchable journal cover. It is a stitch your star sign journal cover or notebook whatever you get it I don't know it's gorgeous first of all it comes with a little rocket bobbin with metallic thread and your needle and then it is this really beautiful leather journal come here Ooh! so it has a perforated cover for you to stitch on it's black with some like glittery sparkly because it's very celestial um, it comes with the patterns to stitch your star sign, if that's what you're into, but you could also just stitch whatever you want on this. What I love most about this, there's a lot of things I love most. It comes with a really pretty gold pen. It comes with one of these little doodads, and do you see that? It's a moon. Inside, you have, of course, your notebook, but it is like a journal, um, like a what am I saying? Like a journal cover. So you could put, you can switch out the notebook if it gets full. That's brilliant. Um, I also just noticed that inside it says written in the stars and that just makes me happy. Um, it's super fun. You could stitch anything you want. The back is not stitchable. It's just plain. Um, but I think this is so fun and I need to decide what I'm going to stitch on mine. I have no idea, but it's going to be so fun. It just feels so Good. I just can picture myself, you know, many moons from now, sitting in a coffee shop, journaling with my latte and listening to probably a floss tube video <laughs> and just journaling away. Ooh, it's so delicious. And everyone's going to be like, ooh, look at that cool stitchy journal. Yes. So um, those are in the shop now. They're awesome. I'm going to put this back in. It comes with in this nice little box too. Like, wow. Oh, yes. It's so exciting. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, I have another stitchable awesome thing for you as well. This is a oh, Stitch Your Own Adventure tote bag. What? So you can stitch where you've traveled in the world. I think that's super cute. You could stitch where you want to go. You could stitch anything, anything at all. Um, this one also comes with a little custom bobbin. It's a little plain and it gives you some, I think they're all teal, I could be wrong. But I also love it because it has a little pocket on the back. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, super cute. I love it. I am just, I got those nice leather strappy smells. <laughs> Um, so yeah, check those out in the top note shop near you, which is to say topnotstitcher.com. Um, before we go, I forgot, I totally skipped over my personal haul. So, um, you know, I'm getting myself a tote bag and a journal, obviously. Um, but I wanted to show a couple other things that I've gotten recently. One of which is the DMC color card with the threads. And this thing's amazing feels so nice. Um, I've had to do some like DMC conversions for pieces and this is so fantastic because then you can just lay your colors on top of things or if you're like oh no I'm missing 729 for my gold perfume piece so I can find 729 in here and then I can pull out threads and see which one looks the closest to the intended color rather than just going off of a picture. I can actually just lay it on top. It's awesome. If you don't have one of these, you might be like me and be like, well, I'm not a designer. I don't really need one. That's wrong. You do. You are wrong and you need one and you will not regret it in the slightest. They're like 30, 35 bucks or something. Um, and yeah, I just, I highly, highly recommend that you get your hands on one um, to make your life easier. Okay, another thing that I got, and I don't know how I feel about it. I got this, um, like, rubbery hoop situation. It was called, like, a Turkish hoop. I don't know why. I don't like it. It looks like wood grain, but it's rubbery, plasticky. It has, it's, like, really hard to get apart. I'm afraid I'm going to break it, but I guess it's fine if I do. So it has your, like, insert with the little divot. And then this is just a rubbery ring. I feel like I could play ring toss with it. Um, and then you can like, you know, put your piece in there. Um, and then it has this little like screw on hanger thing. Where's the top of it? There it is. So that can go into, and then you could like hang it. So like I get that it looks maybe a little bit more polished than like just a bamboo wooden hoop situation but I just don't like it and it was really hard to maneuver so I don't understand it if you have any of these let me know I feel like it would be annoying because you can't really like adjust tension so it would be annoying to actually stitch in but it also would be annoying to finish something in and get it centered the way that you want I just have a lot of confused feelings about this, but I gave it a try. It's like a five inch hoop. It was, I don't know, $4. I got it from one, two, three stitch because I was curious. I don't know. Maybe I'll report back if I use it and let you know how I, how we, how we did. Um, one other thing that I've acquired recently is a Glendon Place design. This is bows all around and I just think it's gorgeous. I love me a nice symmetrical geometric design. Um, there's a series of these, like there's like a, oh, it probably says on here. Yes, eggs all around, ornaments all around, snowmen all around, autumn all around, and flowers of the holy night, which is like a poinsettia piece. Um, so this one is obviously Christmas trees, and I just think it's super fun and colorful. And so I was like, I want that in my life. Am I gonna stitch it anytime soon? No, but guess what? It has a lot of dinky dyes in it. So I am excited about that. Maybe I do need to stitch it in my life. It also have some, has some um, beads. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, last thing, and then we're gonna go. We're over time. It just took longer than I thought. Um, this is a new Heartstring Samplery. It's gotten lots and lots and lots of love. So I, if you haven't seen it, I'm happy to show you. This is next door and it says, I wish you lived next door. And I just think, oh, it's just so fitting. And I love the colors. They're really fun and bright. Um, it is stitched with Weeks Dye Works, Banana Pudding, Boysenberry, Charcoal, Clockwork, Grasshopper, and Isla Morada. Isla Morada. I don't know how to say that, but it's cute. 
and I like it and I want to stitch it. Um, yes, 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 yes. And it's trimmed with pom-poms and I have been loving all the little pom-poms everywhere. I haven't actually FFO'd anything with them, but I love them in theory. So I would like to stitch that. If you want to stitch it, you can get it in my shop. Um, that's it, friends. We are all set. Um, let me know if you would like to stitch your very own friendship sampler by leaving a comment with the name with the name or word friendship. Um, let me know what you're stitching on. Let me know what you're excited to see in the Needlework Expo. I can't wait to see what people come out with. Um, I am super excited. If you need anything from the expo, please let me know. Jam and I would be happy to be your personal shoppers. And we'll be back sometime soon. I'm going to leave this friendship sampler open until I make my next video, like regular floss tube video, which I think would be the middle of March because the first weekend of March is the expo. So I shall be busy. Um, so let's just say leave a comment between now and March 10th. And if you're, if you leave a comment after that, you might be fine. <laughs> Maybe we should just say till the end of February. Okay, let's say that. Let's say you have till the end of February. I might not announce the winner in a video for a while, but that's okay. You guys will, you'll deal, you'll hang. It's fine, it's gonna be fine. Okay, um, thank you for hanging out with me. I hope that you have a wonderful week, a wonderful February. Oh yeah, if you have until the end of February to leave a comment, that's like three weeks, that's totally fine. Just know I probably won't make a video for a couple weeks after that. But who even knows? Life is crazy. Who knows? All right, friends. I'll see you very soon. I hope your day, your weeks, your month is full of surprises that are good surprises, like finding a shirt with squirrels on it. Bye, friends.